Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm here at the same Force 12 gym, my favorite gym. And today I am joined with a special friend. Her name is Kelsey. Hey. Kelsey, how long have you been working out for? How long have I been working out? A long time. Um, every day I like to do either yoga or go hiking or lift weights or do some kind of hit training. I love being active um, and it's a big part of my life. So have you done any sort of calisthenics type of workout before? Uh -huh. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna take you through a warm up, and I'm gonna take you through the test, and I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how well you can improve your score. How do you think you're gonna face in today's challenge? I think it's gonna be a little difficult, but I'm excited. I'm ready for it. Okay, I think you got this. Let's find out. Okay, we just finished the warm up. Uh, I'm gonna take Kelsey through uh, this 10 exercise workout that's gonna simulate what she's gonna be feeling and that's gonna target the muscle groups that she's gonna need for the competition. So, let's see how well she does. First exercise, we're gonna do pull ups, but we're gonna switch it up. Um, first, you're gonna need chalk. Calisthenics chalk is your best friend when it comes to pull-ups. So I put a box right here. This is gonna help spot her. Uh, Kelsey is gonna start at the top of the box. You're gonna get a good shoulder, or, yeah, you go sh uh, wider. You wanna grip over, just like that, perfect. And you're gonna jump up, and you're gonna stay above the bar, and you're gonna come all the way down, but you wanna do it in four to six seconds. There you go. Step back up, up. jump. So this is gonna help build eccentric strength for her back. This is everything you're gonna to need to build stronger pull-ups. Last one. Hold, hold, good, good. Yeah, for people that have trouble with regular pull-ups, you gotta work sometimes work backwards. So it's like you're building the strength, and then eventually you'll be able to hold there on your body weight. Six seconds will seem like it's cake. That's the point you want to get. Or you could do um, another process is you could add strap on weight. So it's like the same, it's the same process. We're gonna start off at the top, but instead of your body weight, gravity pulling you down, you're gonna have even more resistance. You know, maybe a weighted belt or maybe somebody pulling you down. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot harder, but that, that's the progression. The next exercise for pull-ups are resistance band pull-ups. So Kelsey, uh, very similar, you're gonna stand on this bar. You wanna get in between this resistance band and with one leg, yep, yeah, right there. Make sure you chalked up. And this time you're gonna do a pause at the top. Two seconds for each rep. Hold, hold, good. Hold, good. And if you're working out with a partner, you wanna spot them at the top if they need it. There you go. Two more. Go right to the top if you can. Good. Last one. Oh. 
Good, relax. The next exercise we're gonna do is resistance dips. And I've set this, uh, these two boxes as a simulation for P-bars. But what we're gonna do is, Kelsey's gonna come over here and you're gonna place your hand right directly on top of the resistance band. And you're gonna then place your knees on top of it. And that's gonna assist you for dips. Yeah. And if it gets too easy, you can obviously change the size of the resistance band. Exercise two, it's eccentric dips, very similar to what we did earlier with the pull-ups. You're gonna start at the very top and you're gonna come all the way down, aim four to six seconds down. And when you hit the bottom, stand right back up using your feet, perfect. And later on, if this gets too easy for you, I would say use a weighted vest or use a weighted belt, anything weighted. So the next exercise is gonna simulate doing toes to bar. Uh, this time we're not doing any momentum on the bar, but we're going on an incline bench. And what Kelsey's is gonna do is she's gonna lay flat. And since she's stronger than most, we're gonna use extra resistance. And bring your feet all the way up for me. So I'll try this. Okay, so at the top, I'm gonna to pull. She's gonna come back up on her own. And I'm gonna pull. She's gonna fight it, use this. Good. Fight, 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 fight. Good. Good. The next core exercise we are going to simulate for toes to bar is uh, knee ups. So you could either do these with your knees or you could do it with your legs straight. Uh, it's, this is kind of too short, so we're gonna do a knees today. So you're gonna just hang and bring it all the way up. Good. And if you want, you can also bring your hip slightly up too to engage, yeah, right there. It's gonna aim at the upper abs, also your rear delts. Good. And this time she's gonna go as, to as many as she can. Next exercise, we're doing push-ups. Uh, the first exercise, we're gonna do resistance, and I'm gonna be the resistance. Uh, Kelsey, if you may, get in push-up position. If you wanna go maybe a little wider, then she'll, okay, perfect. And she's gonna come all the way down, and at the bottom, I'm gonna place a little resistance and come back up, fight me. Good. Down on your own. Up. Good. Down. So the last exercise we're doing is elevated push-ups. Kelsey is gonna be on these boxes and the idea for this one is she's gonna go deeper than a normal push-up on the ground. She's gonna hold for two seconds. Good, right back up. As deep as you can go, get a stretch, good. So this is gonna help with her conditioning and her stamina. She's gonna go as, until failure. And if she needs a spot, what you wanna do is go right under and help lift up if needed.
abs are tight. So the next exercise are assisted single leg squats. Kelsey is gonna grab these handles. Uh, you can also do this with rings, a resistance band, anything you can hold on to. And with one leg, right there, and you're gonna come all the way down and press right back up. And for her grips, it's just to help with balance and the extra spot if she needs to. So the last exercise for Kelsey is step ups. You're gonna put one leg on the box and you're gonna step straight up. You're gonna come right back down. This is for conditioning. Oh, sorry, you're gonna keep that foot on the entire time. So you're gonna oh, max. Oh, I see. So you're gonna max out on one leg. And then you're gonna switch other leg. Yeah. And to make it a little more difficult, we're gonna give Kelsey uh, some extra resistance. Okay, that is it for the workout. How did you think it was overall? I thought it was awesome. Challenging, but really fun. Out of all of those, what would you say is the hardest part? I think the hardest part is just, just keep, you gotta keep going. And when you wanna stop, you gotta go a little bit further. Right. And for somebody else that's similar to you, would you say how long, what is a good time frame to train up for the event, would you say? I would say probably a month. A month of this? Yeah. How many yeah, times a week? Consistently. I would say maybe like five times a week and then take a couple days of break. Because okay. I think rest is important. But absolutely. I think, yeah. But you think this is absolutely doable? I think it's absolutely doable. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is it for us today. Thank you for coming out today and killing this workout. You Thank did great. You. I had a lot of fun. And until the next episode, I'll see you next time.